What is up everybody, welcome to this new video of Techpress. my name is Steven and today's tutorial let's take a look into how you can purchase a plan from Shopify really really fast. So there's actually a bunch of ways that we can do this but the most simple way is to click into the link that we're going to leave you guys down below in the description. You're going to be getting a free trial of Shopify and you're going to be earning uh, the next three months of whatever plan you wanted to for only one dollar. So with $1, you're going to be having access to all of these actual features that you can see in here. So if you choose a basic plan or a Shopify plan or an advanced plan, you have here the USD price of $400, $52, but once again, you're going to be getting one of whatever you wanted to for the next three months for only one month. So once again, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can check it out this totally for free. So what you want to do guys, once you click into the link that I just gave you, it's going to be showing you something like this. So the very first thing you wanted to do is to import here. Let's get started. So what I wanted to do is to go with, I am just starting. I'm going to hit into next. So it says, where would you like to sell? Let's say that we wanted to sell an online store and we want to import our online store into some social medias. So I'm going to hit now into next. Now, which social channels would you like to sell on? In my case, let's say that I do have only Instagram and Facebook. But if you have, let's say for example, Pinterest, TikTok, Shopify, Inbox, you can just enable that. In my case, I'm going to use Instagram with the very first of two of them and hit now into next. And later on, what do you plan to sell first? If you don't know what to sell, you can always input, I will decide this later and hit into next. So you don't have to be pressured in here. You don't have to worry about that. If you wanted to sell, let's say for example, digital products, you wanted to sell dro uh, drop shipping products, print other man services. You don't have to worry about that. You can just customize this later on. Just focus into, I will decide later and hit into next. And lastly, guys, it's going to be asking you to continue with your email, with your Apple ID, your Facebook, and or a Google account. So once you signed it in, what you want to do is to verify confirmed your email account. And then later on, it's going to appear in something like this. So we do have now a trial version of these actual Shopify. So as you can see, we are into 19 May 19. And my trial ends in a week. So I have one week to check it out how this actual Shopify works. After that, if you wanted to upgrade for a new plan, you want to choose the option that says select a plan. And then later on, it's going to be sending this now into the pick a plan. As you can see, as I just told you, as I was just telling you, the $300 of the advanced one, $39 of Shopify, or the basic plan of $14 are all starting with only one dollar so as you can see we have one dollar for the very first three months and the basic shopify and advanced uh plan so now what's the difference between the three of them what is like the best one that you can choose here as you can see we have the most popular which is the basic one but what does the basic one can give us the basic one can give us a feature of two staff members and up to a thousand locations basic repos we have shipping discounts and all the plans all of these plans include shareable products limited products support analysis card recovery model order creations and much more here we do have of course advanced plans with the online store shopify view slide and kind of great to the pos pro so if you are just getting started, if you, let's say for example, that you don't know, uh, you need to create your store, you want to check it out how to ship products, you want to check it out how the, uh, how the payment processing comes in, I believe like the best feature you can choose is the basic plan. So um, if you have a small business and you want to level up to the next one, to the next level, and you want to get more staff accounts, you wanted to receive, like, for example, more professional reports, uh, USPS priority, then I believe like the very amazing one is Shopify. So I'm going to focus into the basic plan, choose the one that says choose basic. And here, as you can see, this one should be sending us now into the confirmation of the basic Shopify plan. As you can see, we do have the free trial and the extended trial should be uh, until May the 23rd. After that, 
it's going to be enabling the now the basic Shopify plan and we are going to be paying until August of 21, which I think to the 20, 21st actually, and we're going to be billed every 30 days. So if you don't like anything about Shopify, you can try only to cancel your plan before it reaches the August 21st, so you're not going to be getting paid of $19 for the basic Shopify plan, which at the end of the day, I think is like really, really low price, but that's totally up to you. So then what I want to do is to choose the option that says monthly, and I have pay only $1 for the next three months, then $19. Or you can choose to pay $1 for the next three months, and then later on, you're going to be paying $14 for a whole year which is $168. So you're going to be saving $60 in this billing cycle, whatever you wanted to. Then I want to go with confirmed billing cycle. Then here I have the business address. Really, really important guys that you choose the country region where you're currently based at. By default, we have Mexico. I fill my first, my last name, the street, apartment, postal code, the city, the state. I'm going to choose Mexico City and the phone number. After you have successfully added that, you want to go into save your address. And then later on, it's going to be asking you for a payment method. So you can choose to pay this with a credit card or pay with PayPal. This should be sending us into uh, redirecting us, of course, into our PayPal account in order to make the payment. Once you have successfully done that, your plan should be now uh, already been set it up. If you want to check it out, if this one is actually working for you, you want it to go into settings. Down here it says settings. And now you want to focus into the option that says plan. Here you should be seeing that you have an active plan, the billing cycle and the payment method should be added automatically. And now guys, we are now ready to get started into Shopify. And before we continue, before we end this video, I can totally suggest you that before um, you can do whatever you want to, you wanted to go here into your users and permissions. You want to fill as much information as you can, go into your store details, and here you want to check it out like your store name, the billing information, the store currency, the time zones, the order ID format. And what I do love to do is starting here into Shopify is to go directly into my brand. Here into my brand, what I want to do is to import my different logos, the square version, all my primary colors, the secondary colors, my cover images, the slogan, the show description, all my social links. And then later on guys, I can now start to customize my store. I can go here into sales channels, focus into online store. And here you can see that we have the customizable version of this new theme. So which in my case, I believe I don't have anything yet added. You are just ready to get started guys. So this is like a very basic way of how you can get started here in Shopify. You have now an active plan of a basic plan, advanced plan, whatever you wanted to for the next three months, only $1. Once again, you have the link down below in the description. Really, really awesome uh, deal here to Shopify, a huge deal. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you wanted to see more amazing tools for the Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And well, with that being said, I'll see you on the next video.